hear my voice? Yes, everyone, are able to hear my voice? Are able to hear my screen? Yes, I mean, sir. see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's start the class. Mm. Uh, this. Uh, What is meant by everyone? What is meant by tax, everyone? Tax means tax. What is the definition of tax? Anyone? Anyone? What is the definition of tax? Okay, not interested. The amount to be paid to the government. Any others? Good, good power. Any others? It's like a, some some kind of charges that we pay to the government for using some service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or buying products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everyone, tax, basically tax is the liability to pay the government based on your income, based on your transactions, purchase, sales and all. It is a liability to pay. It is not a charitable amount. It is an order. It is an order. It is not a charitable amount. It is an order based on your income and based on your transactions. These are two types. Transactions means purchases and sale. If you purchase anything, we want to pay tax. Product value plus tax. Even overall our income also, we can pay the tax. Every year income tax and all. And it is liability to pay the government. It is not a charitable amount. In case if you are not pay the tax, you are, I mean, the government ready to punish. Ready to punish. Okay. So it is an, a liability to pay. It's a mandatory. Okay. Example, everyone who have two types of taxes, everyone who have two types of taxes. So what is that? What is the two types of taxes? One is direct tax and one is indirect tax. One is direct tax and one is indirect tax. So what is meant by direct tax and what is the example of indirect tax? Example, in the direct tax, example is, in the direct tax, example is, let us assume income tax, income tax and TDS and uh, wealth tax, wealth tax, etc. ETC, etc. ETC. And what is meant by indirect tax? Types of indirect taxes, types of indirect taxes. Everyone, types of indirect taxes. Example, a VAT, CST, service tax, service tax, and excise duty, and so on, ETC. This type of taxes we are called as a indirect tax. Everyone, this type of taxes we are called as a indirect tax. So when you calculate indirect tax, when you are calculating the indirect tax. Go on mute, sir, please. I will tell you. Please go on mute, sir. I will tell you. Thank you, sir. Thanks for responding. I will tell you, sir. So my question is, when we are going to calculate indirect tax, indirect tax, we are going to calculate when you are doing purchases and sale. Sir, Narsima, sir, please go on mute, sir. Please, sir. Please. 
sorry sir so when you are going to calculate indirect tax so when you are doing purchases and sale which purchase any purchase maybe goods maybe services maybe anything if you raise purchase invoice and sales invoice we want to calculate the indirect tax for example everyone for example so this indirect taxes example in this indirect taxes vat service tax excise duty now replaced into gst example everyone this uh, vat service tax or, i mean cst excise duty toll tax blah 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 like switch it so in this all the taxes replaced into gst replaced into gst goods and service tax gst full form is called goods and service tax goods and service tax goods and service tax nothing but indirect tax goods and service tax nothing but indirect tax when you are going to calculate indirect tax when you are doing purchases and sale when you are doing purchases and sale sir for all activities replace this old tax into new tax no everyone if you still petrol and alcohol petrol and alcohol still they are calculating old taxes vat cst service tax excise duty blah 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 xyz except petrol and alcohol petrol and alcohol remaining all the things now we want to calculate goods and service tax except petrol and alcohol so remaining all the things we want to calculate goods and service tax goods and service tax is an indirect tax it is want to calculate when you are doing purchases and sale when you are doing purchases and sale okay so please uh, note it down this every please note it down this please note it down Done, sir. Completed. Complete. Complete. Noted on one note, sir. Noted on one note. Remaining people done now. Completed, sir. Yes. Yes, yeah. sir. Noted on one note. Some BCom students, MBA accountants, they are already knows, but some non-commerce students want to understand some basics. Please um, uh, bear with me. Okay. Don't feel bored. Note it on one note. Uh, Non-commerce students, please focus. Huh? Some basics. This is some basics actually. Note it down. Goods and service tax. Goods and service tax is goods and service tax is indirect tax. Goods and service tax is indirect tax. Indirect 
it is want to calculate it is want to calculate it is want to calculate when you do purchases and sale when you do purchases and sale next line note it down next line petrol and alcohol petrol and alcohol still not comes under gst process petrol and alcohol not comes under gst process For this, for this, follow old indirect tax process. Old indirect tax process. Example, VAT, CST, service tax, excise duty, dot, 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 etc. Dot, 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 etc. Okay, everyone, let's see my screen. Everyone. Can anyone please read the note? Any remaining people check it out? Please read the note. Sir, I'll read, sir. Please go ahead, ma'am. Goods and service tax is indirect tax. It is, it is one to calculate when you do purchases and sales. Spectral and alcohol still not comes under GST process. For this, we will follow old indirect tax process. Example, back CST, excise duty, and service tax. Service tax. Everyone, concentrated, everyone. Concentrated. Very important point. GST. GST. GST full form is called goods and service tax. Goods and service tax. When we want to calculate goods and service tax, when you do the purchases and sale, any product except petrol and alcohol, for all or now comes under GST, everything. Hare Krishna, go on mute, sir. Please, huh? please don't disturb, please. All or comes under GST. Okay. When you do purchases and sale, that time we want to calculate GST. This GST divided into two types every day. GST divided into two types. What is that? One is indirect GST and what sorry, input GST and one is output GST. One is input GST and one is output GST. Input GST and the output GST, everyone. Non-commerce students, please focus, my dear students, okay? 
scammer students already knows. Okay, please concentrate, you people. GST divided into two types, everyone. One is input GST and one is output GST. So when we want to calculate input GST, when you do the purchases, when you do the purchases, purchases, that time we want to calculate input GST. When we want to calculate output GST, when you do the sales, when you do the sales, that time we want to calculate input GST. Sorry. When you do the purchases, that time we want to calculate input GST. When you do the sales, that time we want to calculate output GST. Very clear cut statement, everyone. Output GST. Again, input GST into divided into two, three types. One more type also there, fourth type I will tell you later. First try to, at that point I will tell you later. Try to understand. Input GST divided into again, three types. One is, guys, concentrate here, my dear students. Again, this is divided into three types. One is, I GST, let it be input I GST and input one more input C GST and input S GST. Input S GST. So when we are going to calculate input IGST, when you're doing the purchases, one state to another state. Example, everyone, example, I am from Andhra Pradesh. I am from Andhra Pradesh. When I am doing the purchases from Karnataka, I want to calculate input IGST. When I am doing purchases from Maharashtra, I want to calculate input IGST. When I am doing purchases from Orissa, I want to calculate input IGST. Purchase one state to another state. Purchase one state to other state. That time we need to calculate input IGST. Then when we want to calculate input CGST and SGST, when you are doing the purchases within the state, for example, I am, the, I am in Andhra Pradesh. So I want to purchase within the state, within Andhra Pradesh. When you are doing the purchases within Andhra Pradesh, I want to calculate input CGST and SGST. Purchase within state. Within the state. That time we need to calculate input CGST and input SGST. Input CGST and input SGST. Input CGST and SGST. When you want to calculate, when you are doing the purchases within the state, within the state, we need to calculate CGST and SGST. CGST and input. Input CGST and input SGST. Then come about, come about sales side, come about sales side, output, output, output IGST. So when I want to calculate output IGST, my dear students, sales, state to other state. one state to other state. One state to other state. Example, I am from Andhra Pradesh. 
when I am doing the sales to Odisha, when I am doing the sales to Karnataka, when I am doing the sales to Maharashtra, when I am doing sales to any other state, that time I want to calculate output IGST. Output IGST. One more is called output CGST, then output SGST. SGST. My dear students, when I want to calculate this, sales within the state, within the state. When, for example, I am from, I am from Andhra Pradesh. When I am doing the sales within Andhra Pradesh, within Andhra Pradesh, I want to, uh, I want to calculate output CGST, output SGST. Output, I want to calculate during the sales. Input, I want to calculate purchases. Purchases. First, listen, don't write. Listen first. Try to understand the points, very important points. GST, what is meant by GST? GST is called Goods and Service Tax. When we want to listen, everyone, listen careful. Don't write. Listen first. Listen. First, over you, listen careful. When we want to calculate the GST, GST, full form is called Goods and Service Tax. We want to calculate when you are doing purchases and sale. Any purchases, any sale. Except alcohol and petrol. Everything except that. So this GST divided into two parts. Input GST and output GST. When we want to calculate input GST, input GST when you are doing the purchases. When we want to calculate output GST, output GST when you are doing sales. Again, input GST comes under example three types. Input IGST, input CGST and input SGST. Input IGST, we want to calculate when you are doing the purchases one state to another state. And CGST and SGST, when you are doing purchases within the state. Within the state. Same way in the output also. Output IGST, we want to calculate sales one state to other state. And output CGST and SGST, we want to calculate within the state. Within the state. Example, my dear students, uh, can you please note it down this? Can you please note it down this? Note it down this, everyone, please now. Once we completed, please respond, my dear students.
done sir. remaining people done my dear students yes sir done yes sir for, for example let us let us see what is the gst rates gst rates anyone tell me gst rates one is zero five percent five percent Five, nine percent. Huh? Sorry. Ninety percent. Ninety percent is also there, sir. Nine. Nine. Nine percent. See, just nine. Just nine. Total eighteen percent is. It's a eighteen, my dear students. Even twelve. Eighteen. And one more is called twenty-eight. Ah. Yes, sir. Twenty-eight. This is the GST rates, everyone. One is 0, 5, 12, 18, and 28. So this GST rates is depend upon the product. Depend upon the product, everyone. Example, why 0? Why 0 means? Example, in case if you purchase anything from the farmer. Farmer, when you farming any product, like tomatoes, potatoes, anything. When the farmer farming any products, when you at the time of purchasing and doing anything from the farmer, that time zero percent tax, zero percent GST. Okay, no GST that time, zero percent GST. And five percent, twelve percent, eighteen percent, and twenty eight percent. It depend upon the product. Some other sets also there for the gold and all, but that's fine. It is, this is the standard, everyone. Uh, example, everyone, concentrate here. For example, it's depend upon the product. If you purchase anything from luxury products, uh, example, BMW car, then any luxury products, that time 28% of tax. When you purchase uh, any luxury things, okay, that time 28% of GST. Uh, for example, when you purchase any uh, uh, generally using products, general using product, that time 5% of GST, like that. Let us assume, everyone, concentrate everyone, I will tell you one point. Let us assume for my services, I have one business example. Example, I'm telling everyone. Example, I'm telling. I have one. I have one business. I'm producing, giving services, something, whatever, X, Y, Z. I have one services. For my business, my business, government has been decided based on the government rule. My GST is twelve percent for my product. Let us assume for my product, government has decided 12% of GST. Here, you can catch the point here, everyone. Very important. Listen, listen, my dear students. Very important. Let us assume, let us assume we have 12% of GST for my product. When you are doing the purchases, one state to another state, input IGST, how much? 12% will come. That's it. When you are doing purchases within the state, input CGST and input SGST will come. So here, 6% and 6% will come. Which one will come? 6% and 6% will come. 6% and 6%. So what you people understood? Here, just a terminology will going to change. That's it. Just terminology will going to change. Percentage never change. If you do one state to another state, 12%. Within the state also 12%. But here, just terminology will going to change. We divided into two, 6% and 6%. Here, 12%. Anything, any rate, any rate. Any rate, okay. Any rate, 
same way when you are doing say at the time of sales also at the time of sales also example example everyone for my products 12 percent means output igst 12 percent output cgst six percent and here six percent example everyone example example so what you people understood just terminology will going to change percentage never change when you are doing purchases and when you are doing sales just terminology will going to change that's it gst we want to calculate when you are doing the purchases and sale some specific rate government had decided one rate this rate depend upon the product this rate depend upon the product sir when i doing purchases same rate when you are doing sale same rate then how we are going to pay the government how we are going to pay the government how we are going to pay the government example everyone example uh, can you please add on this point everyone i will tell you later please add on add on this Done, noted, noted everyone. Yes, sir. Yes. Everyone concentrate here. What is the process to pay the government? Pay the government. Pay the government. How we can pay the government? Example, everyone. Example, everyone. Let us assume, for example, we are from what is our company name bm group of company group of company our name is called our company name is called bm group of company let us assume we are purchasing from the vendor we are sales to customer purchasing from vendor purchasing from vendor purchase and sales to customer. Is this correct, everyone? Sales to customer. Example, everyone, for my product or my services, I am purchasing, I am purchasing base value, purchasing value. Let us assume uh, 1 lakh rupees. Let us assume 1 lakh rupees. Plus, plus input GST. Input GST. Input GST. When you are doing the purchases, one state to another state. Input IGST. When you are doing the purchases within the state, input CGST and input SGST. Let us imagine I am purchasing one state to another state. I am named as a IGST. Just a terminology will going to change. So how much GST I want to calculate? Let us assume 12%. 12%. So 12% bole to how much tax? 12,000. 12,000. So how much total invoice value? Total INV value, how much? Is one one lakh twenty. One lakh twenty thousand. Sir, one lakh twelve thousand. So, how much value we want to pay the vendor? One lakh or one lakh uh, twelve thousand? One lakh twelve thousand. One lakh twelve thousand. One lakh twelve thousand. So, we want to pay the vendor one lakh twelve thousand. It means 
we are paying the tax to the vendor. We are paying the tax to the vendor. My product value, 1 lakh rupees only. Even we are paying the tax to the vendor. Okay. Tax. GST. We are paying indirect tax. Named as a GST. So my purchasing value 1 lakh only. But we paid tax also. When I am doing the sales. When I am doing the sales. Base value. Example everyone. I purchase just 1 lakh. So am I want to sell same value. Or can I take any profits. Profit. Profit. Huh? Everyone? Profit. Profits. We, we choose for some profit, right? Here, my product value 1 lakh. Even though plus tax. My product value 1 lakh. I purchase from vendor. Then here, I sell to the customer 1 lakh 50,000. 1 lakh 50,000. I sales to the customer 1 lakh 50,000. 50,000 is my profit. Plus tax. Plus tax. Output GST. Let us example IGST. 12%. 12%. So how much value we are going to sell? 1 lakh? 18,000. 15,000 may 12 percent bole the how much GST? 18,000. 18,000. 18,000. So total invoice value, how much? 1 lakh 68,000. Total is equal this plus this. 1 lakh 68,000. So we are collecting from the customer, one lakh fifty thousand or one lakh sixty eight thousand. One lakh sixty eight. One lakh sixty eight. One lakh sixty eight thousand. So what you people understand here? What you people understand here? We are paid vendor one lakh twelve thousand, including tax. We are collecting customer 1,68,000 including tax. So how much tax, example, end of the month or end of the day, end of the month, how much input GST collected from, so paid from the, to the vendor, how much GST paid from vendor here? 12,000. 12,000. Here, 12,000 we paid vendor. How much total all the, you see in the real time, they calculated all the invoices. Example, I'm telling one invoice. So how much tax we collected from the customer? Yeah, 18,000. 18,000. 18,000. So how much differences? 18,000 minus 12,000. How much differences? Six thousand. Six thousand, ma'am. Six thousand. Yes, so this six thousand have to pay the government. Pay to government. That's it. How we can pay the government? This value we want to pay the government. Which value? This value. Very simple, everyone. So, output GST minus input GST. Remaining amount, we need to pay the government. Sometimes only output GST. Oh, sorry. Only input GST. There is no output GST. What can I do? We can carry forward the next month. Only input GST. I paid vendor. I did not collected any amount from the customer. Only purchases happened. No sales this month. Only purchases happened. No sales this month. I did not collected any amount from the customer. 
only I paid to the vendor. No sales. What can I do? So this tax we can carry forward next month. Maybe whenever you did sales, that time you can less. Remaining amount, we need to pay that only. Non-commerce students. Commerce students, obviously they know. Non-commerce students, following my dear students. Yes, no, my dear friends. Hare yes, Krishna. Sir. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes. Note it down this man. Done, done, my dear students. Done. Done. So, note it down. CGST full form. Anyone, what is the CGST full form? Central Goods Very good. Note it down. Very good. Central Goods and Service Tax. Yes, GST full form. States and Goods and Service Tax. One more thing, IGST full form. Anyone? Anyone knows? Integrated. Center goods. Integrated. Integrated goods and service tax. Tax. Integrated goods and service tax. One more uh, GST also there, UGST. Okay, we'll discuss later. Again. Very simple, everyone. What is, the, I can tell you some overview. UGST means when you are business, when you are business in union territories. How many union territories in India? Anyone? How many union territories in India? Andamani, Kobar. Sorry, ma'am. Three or four. Hare Krishna. What ma'am? Seven. Sorry. Seven. Seven. Seven also wrong. Four. Sir. Eight. I think. Hare eight, Krishna. Sir. 
ఎయిట్ అవర్స్ రాంగ్ ఫైన్ టుడే అండ్ టెల్ మీ టుమారో వాట్ మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ హౌ మెనీ యూనియన్ టెరిటరీస్ ఇన్ ఇండియా నైన్ సార్ నైన్ ఇస్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ నైన్ ఇస్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఓకే ఫోర్ త్రీ టూ ఎనీవే సో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెరీ సింపుల్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ సారీ సార్ ఈవెన్ నవ్ దిస్ జమ్మూ అండ్ కాశ్మీర్ అండ్ లడక్ ఆల్సో యూనియన్ టెరిటరీ ప్రీవియస్లీ వు హ్యావ్ సెవెన్ దెన్ టూ ఆర్ యాడెడ్ సో ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ లడక్ ఐ మీన్ సారీ లడక్ కాశ్మీర్ అండ్ పాండిచ్చేరి అండమాన్ నికోబార్ దీవ్స్ లక్షద్వీప్ అండ్ లోడ్ ఆఫ్ లోడ్ ఆఫ్ యూనియన్ టెరిటరీ సారీ జమ్మూ అండ్ కాశ్మీర్ సార్ ah what are jammu and kashmir and all okay for example everyone i will tell you one thing in case your business in union territory example i am from pondicherry my business in pondicherry example my business in pondicherry so pondicherry is a not a state it's an a union territory even delhi also union territory okay delhi is not a state delhi is an a union territory example everyone um uh, let us assume my business in union territory very simple everyone rate process everything will not changed just in the place of yes gst we want to add ugst rate percentage everything not changed just terminology will going to change in case your business in any state you want to add yes gst output and input in case your business in union territory you are located in union territory your business located in union territory there you want to add on ugst that's it in entire india wherever you go same rate but that flexibility not there in old taxes gst sorry old taxes vat cst excise duty that time there is a different different tax rates if you go delhi different tax rate kerala different tax andhra pradesh different tax when you are in old system but now when the modi i mean introduce gst okay it's a long process okay it so introduce the gst like uh, it's a very wherever you go maybe you are in wherever you go not a matter we need to calculate same rate okay yes clear clear so far but in the place of cg sgst we need to change ugst but percentage process never change just terminology will going to change that's it clear clear so far yes no my dear students yes sir yes okay. any questions questions so tomorrow onwards let's do the configuration configurations invoice postings let us see payments reports everything we'll see tomorrow onwards okay clear so far thank you everyone thanks for joining meet tomorrow thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you yeah